In March of 2022, I flew to Istanbul, Turkey for a week of highlights and surprises that included fascinating architecture, a nasty snowstorm, underground pools, getting my head shaved, sweaty Turkish daddies, and a pickle juice cocktail, just to name a few. One of the unexpected highlights of the trip that I wanted to tell you about on this channel was my flight with Turkish Airlines. Oh yeah, that's me, Morgan from the Very Unofficial Travel Guides. I travel all around the world to popular and not so popular tourist destinations to give you a very honest, unofficial look at what it's like to be there, and I also wrote a book full of travel and YouTube stories called Getting Stitches on a Cruise Ship. It's available on Amazon now. When it comes to air travel nowadays, if you're flying in economy like I always do, there's not a whole lot to look forward to. But my experience on Turkish Airlines from Hamburg, Germany to Istanbul was different. These are the first class seats by the way, but even the economy seats on my Airbus 321 seemed fancy and, I don't know, like upgraded. The plane basically looked like it was brand new, and some of these shots are vertical because it was easier to get more into the frame. One thing that immediately got my attention was the fact that the safety announcement were also available as a signed video, which I don't think I've seen on any flight before, so major points for the inclusion, Turkish Airlines. And for a flight that took less than four hours, having an entertainment system of this size included in the price of economy was a huge bonus. Speaking of huge bonuses, they also served us a full meal in economy on a three and a half hour flight. How often does that happen on Delta? The meal included a small Greek salad, choice of chicken or vegetarian pasta, some kind of dessert, not sure what it was, and a cup of water, <laughs> anal, <laughs> as well as an extra drink service. For a three and a half hour flight, this was a fantastic perk and it even came with real metal silverware, which just sort of adds to the quality of the experience. Just like I've made a permanent mental note to try to avoid flying through London Heathrow Airport, even if it costs a little bit extra, I will now also be willing to pay a little bit extra if it means I can fly on Turkish Airlines. I arrived at the newest Istanbul Airport, IST, which is huge and very modern. I just picked up my bag and I was gonna grab some cash from that ATM and the fee it was gonna charge me was over 12 euros. So I said, no. And after that, I went on a somewhat confusing journey to find my pre-booked private driver. Getting a private shuttle into the city only costs a little bit more than a taxi and if you split it between two people, then it's definitely the way to go. My advice is, before you leave the airport, make sure the driver knows the name and the address of your hotel, even though you have to enter all that into the website to book the driver before you come. Also, make sure you kinda know where your hotel is on a map. None of the shuttle drivers or taxi drivers that I experienced while on the vacation part of the trip seem to know their way around the city that well. So next time, I'm literally gonna print out a page from Google Maps with my hotel on it and hand it to the driver at the airport. By the way, the journey from IST into the city took about 45 minutes and after checking into Hotel Amethyst, I went out for a walk to explore the nearby sites. There will be a hotel room tour coming up from Hotel Amethyst, including showing you the underground pool again, as well as the bathroom door situation. I'm also gonna tell you about visiting a traditional Turkish bath and make sure you check back for the foodie tour video so you can see the fried baby goat intestines and pickle juice cocktail. Mmm.